nothing. <laughs> Playing around with the devil. Next day. Where you going? We... See, it's a step by step. You just don't go and just blind. He, he seduces you. He connives you. That's a temptation. And some temptations, like anger, emotional temptations, to get you to walk, those are sudden, sudden, when you don't think. Something happens, you react. That's how the enemy, because the enemy studies you so long, he knows what pushes your buttons. That's it. And so, certain things, he knows that you will become emotional over. And, if he, and certain things, he just knows, if I throw that out there, he always falls for that one. He always, he always walks for this one. See, because he studies us. We're fighting against an adversary. The Bible says that he does not come to steal. Uh, he, I mean, he comes to steal, he comes to kill, and he comes to destroy. So today I want to just share a few points on how to deal with temptation when it comes our way. There are certain things that we can do, saints of God. How many of your child, children of the Most High God? Amen. Now I come to tell you, you can't do this in your flesh. Amen. In order to deal with spiritual attacks, you have to be able to deal with it in the spirit. The Bible lets us know that our weapons are not carnal. Weapons are not carnal. Our weapons, you can't touch it can't feel it. It's not a knife. It's not a gun. The only way that you fight against uh, uh, in, 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 to do spiritual warfare is in the spirit. Amen. Now, the world will tell you, you're a fool. You mean to tell me he did this, 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 and this, and you want to tell me to pray for him? That don't make no sense. That's the world they will say that. You mean to tell me my, my child is out there doing drugs and doing this and doing that? I got to run out there on the streets. I got to go down to the hood and find my baby and get them out of that crack house and get them. No, you won't go in the crack house. Yeah, I'm going to go in the crack house and, and, and do this and do it. The Bible says, you can't, it's not about you because it's a battle of the will. How many of you know you can't make nobody do anything? That's it. That's it. You may get them out of the crack house, they'll be in there the next day. So the thing, the key thing is, you have to go to a God who made that individual, who formed that individual, who created that individual. You have to go to Him. See, when you're dealing with the matters of the will, you can't will nobody to do anything, but there's a God who will whisper things in your ear. How many of you remember when you first got saved and you were still struggling, doing things, and, and, and you got you got saved, but you still had a lot of issues in your life. But, but, but there was somebody praying for you, so when you was about to do wrong, you hear a little voice say, well, you, you, you know you shouldn't do it. That's it, that's it. And you feel uncomfortable. How many of you remember that? You, you, feel, you, you may be in the club, but you're looking around now. It was one time you was on the park on the dance floor. I don't really feel nothing. You were just like, like George Jefferson out there. Come on, man. But then as you get saved, then now, now, now you go out there, now you, you're checking stuff out, now you, you, you feel you're there, but you know you ain't supposed to be there. How many ever been in a situation like that? Amen. That's when you know God is working with you. And after a while, you begin to lose the appetite. For the things that you used to do. That's called the born again experience. Mm. Your mind is being changed and transformed. Now for some folks this never happened. Some folks went came to the altar. They prayed. They prayed. And really it was the preacher that prayed for them. They, they never really opened up. They came up because their friend came up. And my, but my friend came up to get saved. And, and I just came with them. But my mama always wanted me to be saved. But there's never been a true conversion in the heart. So they come up and they walk back the same way. There's some people go to the baptismal pool, get dipped, you just come up with. Nothing happened. Amen? But I come to tell you there is some things that we can do as children of God that will help us deal with temptation. Matthew chapter 6 verse 9. 
And you can write them down and study them when you get home. But Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. And I touched on this, but this is what Jesus instructed us to do. He says, After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now, he says, uh, 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 and then skipping to 13, he says uh, that you are to pray and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the 